And I always remember my dad before I do this segment, because my dad used to always say, Marilyn, you have to work hard and you have to accumulate some money because no money, no funny. And the truth is that it is important to think about what you're going to do with your life and how you're going to fund the things that you want to do. And to start us off every show, we did do talk money. And today I have Leslie Moore, McCormick. Uh, I have her book in my hand, Bank on Yourself, Why Every Woman Should Plan Financially to Be Single even if she's not. And I have to say, I've signed copies at my store, Leslie. Thank you for those. You're welcome, Marilyn. And I've decided to make them $20 at my store. So gift ideas for financial peace of mind are there for $20. But what are we going to talk about today? Well, Marilyn, many people think April is tax season. And yes, that is when we all prepare and submit our tax returns. However, come April... It's all about what happened the prior year. There's no real opportunity to affect your tax return. What's done is done. This time of year, for those of us who are concerned about a tax-efficient lifelong income, this is tax season. When you are retired, many times the decisions you make about how much money to take from various accounts and how you invest inside those accounts can have a significant impact on your tax bill, both now and in the future. This time of year is important as the decisions you make can greatly influence your taxes in April, whether that is tax loss selling to offset realized capital gains, or even deciding to actually realize some taxable events to take advantage of a low tax rate year that can happen sometimes in retirement. These are all things to consider this time of year. Once January comes, it's too late. While planning for a tax-efficient income is important for both couples and singles, For people who are single, it is even more important to be aware of your tax situation. You see, single people can't benefit from pension income splitting. The entire tax bill is on that one person. I recently started working with uh, with Helen, and Helen was widowed a couple of years ago, and last April was her first real return that was truly all hers as a widow. And unfortunately, it came with a shock. Not only had she lost 40% of her husband's pension, she lost his old age security She lost part of his Canada pension plan, his CPP, and on top of that, her own old age security was clawed back, all while seeing her personal tax bill increase. The good news for Helen was that with reviewing her her year-to-date sources of income and investment-related tax this this time of year, we were able to take some action to help her maintain more of her OAS and reduce taxes when she does her return this coming April. We were also able to show her how to modify where some of her income was coming from and how restructuring her investments and investment accounts can result in her ability to reduce her taxes and keep more of her old age security in the future. Of course, we involved her accountant in the conversation and is always recommended any time it comes to tax matters, always talk with your accountant. The end result is now that Helen has a plan for a tax-efficient lifelong income, she has confidence in her ability to maintain her comfortable lifestyle for her lifetime. More important than what you make is what you keep. Proper tax-efficient retirement income can help you keep more for yourself today and tomorrow. And to do that, this is the time of year to act. Wow, that's solid information. And the fact 
that we can actually strategize to keep more in our pockets and do it legally that is is important to know. And a lot of people think that whatever it is, it is, and they just ride along. And basically, week to week, I learned from you and Darren that the strategy is important. We can keep more money in our pockets. It's a matter of understanding it. So I'm, I'm going to post this show on Monday for the people who want to listen to the event to get to your conversation again. However, if someone wants to talk to you personally, 15-minute consultation, how do we reach you? You can give us a call at 416-863-7501. 416-863-7501. Leslie, I'm happy to have your book as a guide and to encourage women to have a um, a, a, an understanding of what they can do. A conversation with you and Darren and your team would be invaluable. And it means that you can have peace of mind that you've done the best you can and you're keeping the most that you can. And uh, as far as the document we spoke about last week about how to find a financial advisor, and I guess keeping as much money as you can starts with having the right person to talk to. So can we still offer that document? We certainly can. And same phone number to get it? That's right. So if you want to find out how to find a financial advisor, because Darren and Leslie and the team can't be everyone's, then you're welcome to call and uh, they'll look after you, 416-863-7501. And if you want to look at the tax repercussions of this year and take action, you've had your warning. Heads up, Leslie's telling you, now is the time. Don't look till next spring. It's too late to change it. So ask your questions, get your answers, and know that there's a potential to save tax dollars. 416-863-7501, the Farwell Group. They can show you how if you wish, and the conversation is just easy. It means picking up the phone and having that one conversation. Thanks again, Leslie. Thank you, Marilyn.